Hey there Islanders and welcome to our 6th editor tutorial video. Today we are looking at trigger zones. Trigger zones are really useful when we want something to happen when a player arrives at a certain point. But it doesn't have to be just a player but also a projectile, an item or an animal. In our case we want to turn on lights when the player walks down this hall. So, first in Add Entity we find Braziers. Uh, this is not the burning one, so we'll put it here. And then using Duplicate uh, we move another one right here. Now, in Add Game Logic we find the Trigger Zone. And we'll put it here. At first it is a small ball, a sphere, but we can change this. We double click it for its properties. Again, it's a bit different, some things are the same as in other properties. Uh, we can see the zone can be animated and we can edit its script, at which we'll look at in a second. Uh, we can choose if it's going to be enabled or disabled. If it's disabled it won't work at all, but we can turn it on again with different scripts uh, which may come in handy later. Uh, here we can choose its shape. It can either be a ball, a block or a capsule, but we'll choose block. Now we can see that the radius change into dimensions. Uh, we can either set that up manually or with a gizmo, which we'll do in a moment. We can also choose if the zone will be visible, in which case we check it here and pick a colour. Uh, the player would then see the zone, but we want it to be invisible. Another option is to choose what sets the zone off. It can be the player, animal, projectile, chosen entity, everything is really possible. But we'll settle uh, with any player. Another aspect is perform. Here we have two options. Either the zone goes off only when someone walks into it and not when another player already is inside, or even when someone already is in there. So. If one player was already in the zone and another one entered it, this would choose if it gets set off again or not. The first option will suffice for us, which is there by default. In time triggers, we set up how many times the zone can be set off. If we have minus one there, it means it can be set off at unlimited times. We need it to go off just once, so we put in a one. Now, let's have a look at the script. The scripting window is the same, but the events will be different, specific to trigger zones. Uh, these two, on trigger enter and on trigger exit, are specific for trigger zones and will need on trigger enter, this one here. As you can observe, here again is a part with which we can refer to the setting off entity. In our case, it would be the player that walked into the zone, but we won't need it because we are making just an easy script, setting alight a few braziers. So we'll search for light. The light entity again refers to something, uh, so we choose one of the braziers with a dropper and then copy it and choose the second one too. Yeah, that's just easy peasy. Now we press done because we're done. We close the properties. Uh, now we'll toggle the gizmo to scale and you see another type of gizmo appeared uh, with which we can make the trigger zone bigger or smaller. So what we need is that we'll stretch it for the whole hall and switch off the gizmo. As you can see from the selected trigger zones, uh, there are lines connecting it to the braziers, which means that the trigger zone references them in some way. And we know this is because of the script we made. Now, if we duplicate it using Ctrl plus D and drag it here, uh, the copy trigger zone still references the original braziers, so the script copied too. But... If we also choose the braziers and then duplicate it, you'll see it now references the new ones instead, which is really helpful. So, right now we'll copy this a few more times. There we are, one more there. And now we have four simple logics with script. So using F5, uh, we'll start the game and see if this magnificent work works. So first off, we've got the door we made last time. We pull the lever and the door opens. Great. And as we run through the hall, we are activating the invisible trigger zones and setting the braziers alight. Magnificent. And that's all for today. So see you in the next episode. And until then, 
Stay classy, Islanders.